Last week I was on the road a lot, and if there's one thing that I've learned about the interstate is that sign that expressly says, slower traffic, keep right, is misunderstood by millions of people. And you might be thinking, well, what is slower traffic? I would say it's roughly anyone doing under 90. That is slower traffic. Keep to the right. But there's a lot of people with the mentality that as long as I'm going the speed suggestion, that I have a right to that left lane. It's, it's not true. It's not true. There's probably medication for this, and you need to stop. But inevitably, there is that individual who's in that left lane and is going slow. If you've been on the interstate for 3.2 seconds, I can guarantee you that you got locked in behind someone who did not understand the sign. It's the way it happens. Now, here's the thing, is you're often not behind them. You're usually about car 21, car 23. It's a, a wide open interstate. It's forever long, and you don't know who the culprit is. And you're hoping that there's going to be a big enough curve that you can spot who this lawbreaker is doing this illegal speed in the left-hand lane. But to no avail, it doesn't work. You don't, you don't have a good enough curve. But if you can get to the top of a hill and you can see far enough, guess what? You'll spot them. And here's usually what you see. In the right-hand lane, there is an 18-wheeler, and that's it. Just an 18-wheeler. There's nobody else in the right lane at all. In the left lane, you see the 21, 23, 48 cars ahead of you and at the very top, going exactly the same speed as the 18-wheeler, is a white Buick. And they are not moving. They're not, you're hoping that maybe this next hill will be, be big enough for the 18-wheeler to go slow enough that somehow, by some alignment of everything that is good, that they'll be able to to get past the 18-wheeler, and, and maybe something will hit them, and they'll realize that they need to get over. Well, it takes a while, but finally something happens, and they're able to accelerate approximately one mile an hour, and they get past the 18-wheeler, and they pull over. And everybody begins to file past them. But you can't let it go. You're still remembering that white Buick, and you're practicing your look, the look that you're going to give them when you pass them, so that they'll know all the pain and the heartache that they caused you by being in that left-hand lane. And so you get up beside them, finally, it's approximately 90 minutes later, and you get up beside them and you give them the look. And maybe you even make an inappropriate hand gesture. But it doesn't matter. And here's why. Because they don't know you exist. They don't look over. If they did, they've forgotten what they've done, and it just doesn't matter. They don't know you exist. And for the past 90 minutes to, you know, five hours, depending on how long you were in the line, you let that smolder, and you allow that to anger you, these people who don't even know you exist. Then that, it happens to us all the time. Somebody does something and it causes a trigger within us and we take forever thinking about it. And if we ever get to see them, if we ever get to confront them, then we mention something that they know nothing about. Listen, there's going to be a bunch of traffic out there today. There's going to be a bunch of people slowing you down, a bunch of people hammering you, a bunch of people hurting your feelings, and guess what? They're going to be clueless. So don't keep that here. Don't plan your revenge. Don't plan your look or your gesture because they just don't care. So let's not give them that energy. Maybe we're in the fast lane and maybe they're going slow. It's just part of life. PBE, life tip of the day. Success is not an accident. Be blessed.